Hi, it's Vanessa Levin from PreKPages.com and today I'm going to take you on a tour of all the different organization binders I have to offer at Pre-K Pages. So here's the first one here and this is the dog organization binder. Here's the cover. So when you order an organization binder, you're going to get instructions for the teacher. So if you're not familiar with what these are, um, and basically they're parent communication notebooks. If you're not familiar with what they are or how they are used in the classroom, so one, two, three, four, five pages of detailed instructions for you so you know exactly how to use them. And each of these binders is exactly the same except they have a different acronym and they feature a different animal or theme of some sort. So let's take a look at some of the others. So here in the Eagle binder, you can see that each of the different organization binders comes with a um, cover page. So this is the piece of paper that you would print and put in the Clearview binder in the front. Um, so each of your students would have their own binder. And where it says insert your own text, you just click in there and you type whatever you want in that box. So you can type the child's name and you can also put in return to. I found the return to to be really helpful in case the binder gets lost. So each one will have a color cover page. And now here in the frog binder, after the cover page, you will find an example welcome note. So if you would like to see what I put in the first page of my binder to let parents know how it works, you can see that. And then on the next page right here, um, there's one for yourself. So you can take the text that I created and make it so that it works for you because some of this information might not be specific to your program. So in this page here, you can type your own text, whatever you want. So you can create your own welcome note. After that welcome note, the next page is the contact page. So here you have a page that you can place inside the binder so that your parents always know how to contact you, the school, or the school district. So you have all your information here and you can go in and type your own text right there. And if you don't have uh, those types of things, if you don't have a school officer, a district officer, whatever, put whatever um, you would like here. So if you're at a private center, you might put your director's name, you might put the names of your teacher, the co-teacher, whatever you would like in there. So you'll get two of these pages, one that has um, the pre-written things right here and the other one that's completely blank that you can personalize. So there's two contact pages. Now here's the Noah's Ark binder and you'll see a schedule cover page. So I usually put this into the binder and directly behind this page is the daily schedule page. A lot of parents don't know what the daily schedule in their child's classroom is. Um, so I would just edit this box right here and type in your own daily schedule. That way if they wanna come have lunch with their child or if they need to know when nap time is, they have everything they need right there. If they need to know what day they need to send gym shoes, things like that. So put your schedule in there so parents will be familiar with it You'll be surprised how often they need reminders of when pick up and drop off times are. After that schedule page, you'll find a homework page. Now, not everybody sends homework home in the, at this grade level, so you decide if you'd like to use this page or not. So you put this in the binder if you do homework, and then I have a little sample note right here on the next page that explains to parents how to use the alphabet chart. Um, and of course, these are my instructions specific to my class. On the following page, you can create your own instructions if you would like the parents to practice the alphabet at home with their child using this alphabet chart. And again, you can use this note to discover how I use it in my classroom if you would like ideas. And then change this up to meet your own needs. And right after the homework section, there's a behavior se section here in case you do a daily behavior chart of any kind. Um, I like to include the class rules at this point right here. Um, that way the parents will be aware of those rules. Of course, yours are going to be specific to your class, your school, your program. So I put a box there where you can just type your own rules right in the box. And if you need a behavior chart and you'd like to use one, here's the one that I've used before with children who were, were on a behavior improvement plan through the special education program. So um, it's there if you would like to use it. I don't use it with every child every day, but however you see fit to do that. 
after the behavior section, there's a newsletter section. I send a newsletter home every single week with my kids, and I like to put it in the same place in the folder each week directly behind this newsletter cover page here so the parents know exactly where to find it. This one here in the pirate binder has a little blurb right there for parents. But if that's not your thing and you want to put your own blurb, you just click on the next page and type your own text. Um, you can learn more about my newsletters here at this link on the screen, the newsletters that I use. So this is the school theme organizational binder, and this is by far the most popular of these binders that I have. Um, this is the notes section page, um, and I usually put blank paper behind this page here, and if a parent would like to write me a note, um, they're welcome to do that. And these notes could be things like, I need written permission for a child to change his or her method that they go home. So if a parent needs to put that in there, um, the school also needs a written note from parents to excuse absences, doctor's notes, things like that, that absolutely must come in that form. Um, they can go behind here. And then, of course, if you don't like this little blurb here and you don't use zipper pouches, um, of course, there is one on the next page where you can just type your own information. I do have some labels. I put these um, read and remove on the front pocket of the inside of the binder. Um, and those are just notes from home, notes from school, um, you know, from the office that you get to send home. So I just put those in that front pocket and their parents know to read and remove that information. The cool thing about these organization binders is that they come with blank pages at the end. So if you have a different language that you use in your classroom, if you speak Spanish and you're a bilingual classroom, if you speak any other language, and you would like to create something similar in your classroom, but of course all of that's in English, um, on some of those pages you can certainly personalize, but if you just need a blank one, there's four here for you. If you'd like to make your very own cover page with your own words, there's this one here. And to do that, you just go up to the top of your screen, insert text, and then you can start typing whatever you want right there to make your own personalized pages for your book. That's a little overview of all the different organizational binders I have to offer here at Pre-K Pages. I hope you found that information helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.